Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I forgot to film a fucking intro because I was fucking tired and it was like 5.30 a.m. and I needed to get my dumb ass to work. So enjoy this get ready with me. Um, the rest is not a voiceover. I just forgot to do an intro. Okay, love you so much. Hope you enjoy. I'm sorry, y'all. It's so early. I don't even want to talk. Give me some time to get adjusted to the morning, okay? Just give me a sec. Let's just listen to some Taylor Swift, okay? <laughs> I would have made my bed by now, but we have someone in there. <laughs> and he's too cute for me to get him out. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you kidding? He'll always give me a kiss if I give him a hand. That's so nice. Thank you, baby. You little prince. Oh my god, you're so cute. Hello, quick intermission. This video is sponsored by Nebulift. So this is the Nebulift R1C in the color the rose she's so cutie i'm gonna show you guys how i use this and then tell you guys about what this device does um but any hoosie let's get started this is the little gel that you put on it this is it's called the botanical soothing gel it's for all skin types i already cleansed my face didn't put on moisturizer yet but make sure your skin's clean before you start doing this and then you turn it on little power button then turn it up so what this device does is it transmits radio frequency directly onto the skin through gold micro rf dots which stimulates the regrowth of collagen isn't that nice it helps to tighten and plump and get rid of fine lines and it also helps with acne scarring which is really cool um, and it lifts and contours and reduces pore size this device retails for 299 usd so I really appreciate that Nebulift works with my sensitive skin. Um, um, this device goes by 10 minute increments because it's a 10 minute session. So once the 10 minutes is over, it will automatically shut off. But it feels so good and warm like in the vaccine. Like it feels so warm and good. So here's me finishing the 10 minute session. And when I'm done, I put it on top of this little charging pad. So cute, so luxurious. And here's me after glowing, beautiful, plump skin. If you guys want to check out this product too, go to my description and click on the link and you can go to Nebulift's website and look at all the devices that they have. I have a code to get $50 off, so thank you Nebulift. I have a really big pet peeve with my bed not being made if I'm not sleeping in it. So Juni, you should know that I love you very much to allow that. <laughs> Just gonna do my quick little work everyday makeup. Um, nothing fun. I think I need to go up back on Accutane because, bitch, I've done everything to make my skin in a better state than it is right now. And, like, you guys would be surprised, but this looks better than it did a couple days ago. Um, but yeah, I just, it's a struggle that I've had for years, and I just, I think the only way I can fix it is it's with Accutane. Like, I've done everything in my capability recently to not have acne, and I still fucking have it. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore, bitch. How have you guys been? I've been good. I've just been working so effing much. So, you guys remember, I used to work at the salon, right? Well, I worked there still up until about a week ago because I didn't want to work six days a week and I was working there on Saturdays too. But that's a lot of work, bitch. <laughs> it's a lot. And I didn't want to do that anymore. I work, yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple months ago, I told you guys about how I was getting my peer support certification and I like took classes and trainings to become one so I could work in like a rehab or a place that offers mental health services 
Because that's just like where my heart's at. That's what I want to do. Especially since I've been sober now. It's just like, that's what I want to do, bitch. So, yeah. A couple months ago, I did that. And then now, guys, I got this new tattoo yesterday. It's like, um, what is the word? Neo tribal. Some like Y2K shit. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so I got that certification, so that's just what I've, um, I got a job doing that, so I work in a, in a, in a rehab, like, outpatient facility as a peer support specialist, and it's been, it's been good. <laughs> I just thrive when I help people, and that's what I want to do. So that's what I've been doing, and it's nice to get paid for it. I haven't been posting, but I just kind of wanted to adjust to like my new job and my new schedule. I've been working there for pop for like this is my fourth week, starting my fourth week. Um, so I wanted to get adjusted to that, and then and then start worrying about YouTube again. Um, I just knew that it would be too much for me to like take up my whole weekend to film so I'm just trying to figure out where in my schedule um to film and post but I don't want to stop like don't think I'm gonna stop doing this because I'm not like I definitely still I definitely still want to do it um don't think I'm leaving you guys because I love you guys and this is still something that I love to do um, and you guys have been here on this whole journey with me, so why the fuck would I leave you guys, you know? Hey! Oh my god, let me fix this. Okay, I finished my... Ugh! My acne makes me so sad, bitch. I don't know if I'm, like, delusional or if it genuinely doesn't look as bad, like, when I look on my... When I look on my mirror, but, like... It looks really bad when I look on my camera. Junior, you're gonna have to move, baby. It's 6.38 and I have to finish my makeup by 7. Preferably before then, but I don't think that's gonna happen. The one thing I don't like about my job is I have to dress business casual. And bitch, I am not a business casual girl. Like, whatever. Pants. Whatever like fucking black pants but like business shirts and like the shoes like flats bitch ew <laughs> that's ugly i don't like it but what are you gonna do i'm happy that i'm still allowed to have all my face piercings because i'm being so serious if they told me i couldn't i wouldn't work there <laughs> Because what the hell? I can't express myself. You know? Like, I understand. At least dressing a different way. Which is fine. I get it. But if they said no to my piercings, where the fuck would I be able to express myself? Like, obviously I can't. I mean, I guess my makeup. My makeup I could. But, like, bitch, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, bitch. My back hurts from the putting here, bitch. Bitch, my posture is so bad, and then I'll fix it for literally a second, and then I'll just go back to slouching. How do you fix your posture and, like, stay that way? Because, bitch, my body just wants to fucking sit like an ugly little bitch. The way that I do my makeup for work is very much... Like, it's cute, but don't look too close because I didn't really try that hard. <laughs> like, my eyebrows, and, like, I don't want to be doing my fucking eyebrow routine at fucking 6.30 in the morning, bitch. So I just, like, half ass them? I mean, I wouldn't. Like, oh my god, look at those eyebrows. They're... At least they're there. <laughs> bitch. They just need to be present. That's all that matters. I can't believe I'm almost a year sober. Like, that's fucking crazy that it went by that fast. Like, 
Wow, bitch. That's crazy. Anyways, these are my nails. Hold on. Oh my god, nails. Look how cute. Oh my god. I need to make an updated nail video. So you guys can see how I do them now. I've gotten better. I've been doing my eyelashes a little differently because I need them to stay. So I'll put them, some lash glue on my lash line. And that really helps with making these hoes stay on all day. I put it on my lash line and the eyelash. And low-key, I always saw people doing this and I was like, Ugh, my eyelashes stay. I don't need to do all that extra shit. But no, they don't. I need to. <laughs> They'll end up coming off on the corner while I'm at work. I think I just saw, didn't used to ever wear my makeup for long enough. Alright, let's put this on. See how bad it looks. Alright, that one's not too bad. Let's see this one. Damn. Well, you know what, bitch? It's just gonna have to be that way. Because I'm not doing anything about that. What the fuck? How did that even happen? Maybe I sat on one? Oh, bitch. How noticeable is it? <laughs> well. It is what it is, bitch. Happy Pride Month, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that. Be who you are for your bride. Don't hide. Be who you are. Be who you are for your bride. Oh my god. Okay. I packed myself a lunch last night, so let me just get that. And we're ready to skip out. Right on time. 317. No, 314. Perfect. Bitch, you mean 717? 713? Time to skedaddle. Gotta say bye to Junior. Bye, stinker boy. Bye, precious little baby. Have a good day. I love you. I really love my dog so much. I love you. Have a good day. Time to fucking take on the day. You guys are probably wondering, where the fuck did my other car go? <laughs> ton of caffeine i'll get which is like today like when i'm working <laughs> i'll get and it's still early so i won't be up all night like i still need to be up for at least 14 more hours anyways i'll get a vanilla sweet cream cold brew with damn my car is so loud a vanilla sweet cream cold brew with five pumps of white mocha and then an add a blonde espresso shot it's really freaking good but if I don't get that, I'll just get um, a brown sugar or milkshake and espresso, and then I'll get like extra brown sugar pumps in it depending on what size I get. But yeah, I've just noticed that the first drink I got, like the one I got right now, like I, I feel like it has more caffeine in it. I don't know if it does, but I would just assume so because it's cold brew with an added, added shot. But then the other one's a shake and espresso. I don't know. Anyways, the story of how I got this car is actually kind of funny. So I really needed a car 
and I was just kind of looking on Facebook Marketplace and I was just like let me just get a piece of shit in the meantime while I wait to get another car ah! and this one was listed for like $1,400 and I was like bitch that piece of shit is not even worth $14,000 $14,000? $1,400 <laughs> the guy like really needed to move and he like needed to sell his car so he was like okay fine i'll do 900 i was like sold bitch <laughs> it's a piece of shit but 900 bucks so i was like whatever um and then he told me like the backstory of it and i guess it was like some some person's car and they did a lot of drugs and I, I guess that there was like a bunch of like needles and like crazy shit in the car. He cleaned it out. But they went to fucking prison, bitch. They went to prison and the car was taken by the police and then sold out auction. And the guy bought it. So, I don't know what felon's car I'm driving. But I hope they don't get out and look for it and come find me and say, Bitch, that's my fucking car. Because... That'd be scary, but <laughs> that's the story of who owned this car. Do I know what they look like? No, I wish I did. But anyways, I'm gonna go to work. See you guys after. Love ya. I'm home now. I've been home. This is just such a short video. I'm gonna show you guys how I get unready. So first, I put my hair back. Uh, yeah. sponsoring this video love you guys um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i have a couple videos already filmed i just need to edit them so those will be up soon i just wanted to get this one out but love you guys so much 
Oh my god, I haven't said this in forever, but be good to your fucking brain or I'll beat you up. Bitch, you already knew that, bitch. <laughs> Love you so much. Have the best day ever. See you next time.